Thank you. Uh, my name is CJ Huang. Uh, I want to show you some videos, kind of give you a general idea of what I, uh, what I do and what I've done. Um, so th these are the earlier installations where I make everything out of plastic, uh, these uh, plastic tarp you get at hardware stores. And as people go in, they're giving uh, remote controls and these booties and lab coats. And they use those remote controls to explore the space. Some of the remote controls turn on different fans, and then the fans inflate different bags. And, um, and then that open up different spaces. Um, I also use liquids. Um, these are a mixture of like highlighter, pine saw, and still water. And I use the pump to connect to motion sensors. And if people walk in, it pumps through the, the space. And sometimes they're mixed with uh, oxygen, so you create these little segments. And this is a um, video process of the, one of the pieces that was here, that's here right now. Um, it's called EXCF series. And I'm using a lot of desktop computer cooling fans, um, like plastic cookie jars and Christmas light fader. And then I wire them all together. And, um, and I cut the corner of garbage bags and um, install them onto the computer and cooling fan. And then I test them out. <laughs> and this is a, a installation at the, under the pier in Santa Monica. And as people walk through under the pier, they can see all these different uh, creatures. Um, moving, inflating, deflating, uh, moving around. And those are all made from um, desktop computer cooling fans too. All the movements are uh, created by the, the wind pushing. These are the smaller ones, this single fan in the bottle. And yeah, these are all corners of garbage bags uh, with uh, these desktop computer cooling fans. And they're connected to the Christmas light fader, and then there's just the inflate and deflate. Um, this was an uh, installation in Australia in a warehouse, like an old uh, warehouse. And that's the time I started working with um, some of the uh, basic stand computers to kind of choreograph, uh, program these works. So almost like they're synchronized dancing and moving it around. This space is about, about 8,000 square feet, and then you can walk through the different sections of it. This is a more a larger piece, um, also made out of uh, Tupperware, plastic Tupperware containers, uh, theater cooling fans, garbage bags, and LED lights. I use a lot of these uh, those car LED lights, those 12 volts. Uh, these are single tube ones, also made from those plastic tarp. I cut them and then I seal it with those Euro sealers. <coughs> and uh, this is one uh, this is an automatic nightlight. I modify these uh, automatic nightlights. You've probably seen them when the sun goes down, the light turns on. And then I cut the, the light sensor out, added extension wire, and then resolder the light sensor and use a modern clay and I stick it on the television. And then I videotape my eyes. So the dark part of my eye will trick the sensor thinking it's nighttime, which will then turn on the light bulb. And then the white part, and then the eyelid thinking it's daytime and shut it off. <laughs> and then with that same concept, I started exploring different types. This one has four eyes and it's controlling different fans and lights. Uh, this one, it's just moving itself around in the television so the eye can push the television or oh, it's connected to a motor. So it looks like it's alive in the TV. This one's pulling a can. This one has a clock radio and another tube. This one's watching a TV. <laughs> this one is turning on um, uh, water. <laughs> So I, I wanted to collect more uh, using eyes other than my eye. So I built this helmet, um, and then so other people can put it on. And, and this way I can like, capture their eye and extract them in some way. So then I set up these pictures they have to look at. Cat picture, <laughs> picture. And that allows the eyes to always look into the same spot.
And then these are some of the different people that um, I've collected. <clears throat> And then, so I can, then like after I collect all these eyes, <coughs> um, I kind of gather them and like put it in the throat bottles and then I can use it for different works in the future. <laughs> um, a few years ago, I was at the Smithsonian just uh, doing some research studying uh, bioluminous organisms. This is probably going to give you some sense of some of the stuff I'm interested in, maybe influences. I was looking at different, um, the, how the creature uses uh, light um, in the water, um, how they use it to defend or uh, to uh, attract prey, uh, preys and how they, how they use and then the way how they look like because they all look kind of strange and then the light patterns, I really like the light, light pattern, there's many different varieties and types and then Yeah, some of them, these are like anglerfish, they have the really strange eyeballs and mouth, and this one shoots out its bio, it's kind of like a missile to distract the other one. And this one shoots out like a bioluminous sticky glue and stick on the, uh, the predator's eye, uh, face. This is not bioluminous, this is iridescent, but it just looks really cool. And then the color, I love the color and then the patterns, and. This one is also not bioluminous and just strange looking kind of thing. This one is, it just has this really big ears and it swims really strange and I really like it. So that kind of give you a general idea of what I do and then some of the interests um, that I have. <coughs> 